the most thing that I can really remember is is the practices with my grandpa and my dad. And there was a lot of there was a lot of them, you know. So it uh, them are memories I won't ever forget, you know. I mean, they're uh, my grandpa and my dad have have uh, my grandpa Wayne Gorsuch and my dad Marvin Gorsuch have been a huge part of my career, you know. So I mean, they uh, they were there a lot of hours and when. Uh, when I was practicing, so it uh, them were memories I'll never forget. I really did look up to my uh, my dad and my grandpa. You know, they they, they were there when when uh, everything wasn't very good. As, as bulldoggers, Oakberry, you know, Steve Duhon. I mean, I loved watching them guys. You know, Rod Lyman, uh, Birch and the Guard, guys that I really looked up to and uh, and got to rodeo with them and and was really fun. The radios that I remember the most are the ones that my kids are with. You know, <laughs> so it, uh, I mean, everybody has their favorites. You know, Cheyenne's probably one of my favorites. I just love it there. You know, but but you have them radios that you feel like you just do get every year there too. You know, so last year I was ready on halfway full time, not really, and uh, but I'm I'm done ready on full time now. I, I'm a welding instructor at uh, EWC now, and I love it, and it's a whole different. And we're starting a different path in our you know and uh, and which is which is a good thing you know I uh, I get to be around these boys a lot more they got to go with me and stuff but really didn't get to be all about them so it uh, I love my job I'm uh, kind of that's where I went to school and was a welder there so it uh, and went on to Kinder Morgan that's what what I did for five years before I uh, before I left and rode up full time so now I'm coming back to where I was, you know, and it, uh, I love it there at e the EWC. Last few years, probably, probably the last five years, I've been really wondering when it was going to be time, when it was going to be, you know, my boys are getting older and, and, uh, this job would come up and I didn't know if I'd, I'd put in for it last year. And, and when they uh, put the interviews, I was nervous because I really wanted it, you know, and I had a good shot to make the finals last year, but I wanted to be home with my boys, you know, so I, uh, when they offered me the job, I I didn't think twice about it. I I was so excited and and absolutely love it there. You know, it, uh, I'm teaching with a guy that uh, was my welding instructor when I was there, Stan Nichols, and and uh, and it's it's pretty incredible to be you know teaching with him and then Lynn Bedient and Joel. I'm learning a ton. You know, I I have a lot to learn. You know, uh, at uh, Joel Allworth, he's been there for three years and. And he'll tell you he's got, you know, and he's he's great too. I, I respect everybody I work with, and it it's been fun. It's different going. It's it's the same thing. You want to be the best, you know, wanting to be at your best, you know. So I, I want to want to grow into a better welding instructor, you know. And, and so it uh, things have changed a lot, but it's been it's been really really good. I'm I'm a Huskers fan through and through. But I drive about 45 minutes every day, and, and uh, it's it's not bad at all. I love it. I, mean, I guess it, you know, when you like what you do, so it's it's kind of something that I enjoy the kids, and I get to be home with him every night. So and uh, and my other boys. So it's been it's been great. I still love Bulldog. Like we're gonna have a school this weekend, and I love the kids. I love going, you know, and helping them. But that's not my first priority anymore. Priority, you know, like I would. That's what I ate, breathe, live, you know, and now I work all week, you know, and you're thinking about, you know, I want to be the best I can be at that job, so and I want to keep it, you know, so it, uh, it's something that I work hard at that, but I'm not, my mind ain't in, you know, the steer wrestling like it should be. I mean, I, if I draw a good one, I feel like I can make a decent run, but, you know, I don't I don't feel like I'm at the, at, uh, rodeo has been really good to me, and I love it, love everything about it, but you know, if you're not uh, given, you're only going to get what you put into it. And I'm not putting into it, you know, so enough. You know, I put into work, so it uh, it's different now. I, I like it, and I like the direction we're going. Awesome. That's what I love. You know, I mean, like, this is something that I'll, you know, I haven't bought my card or anything and haven't went, and it, uh, but I love doing this. You know, it's something that I can give back, and, and I remember being this age and just, you know, eager to, that's all I wanted to do was bulldog, you know. I never thought I would ever come to that day when you were like, I don't, I don't want to do it all the time, you know. But I, I love coming back to deals like this, and the kids enjoy it, and and I like seeing them grow up. And some of them are back in Danny Manning. He goes to school where where I teach at EWC, 
and it's really fun to see him do really good. You know, he he almost made it to the college finals last year, and, and he goes to the school there in Torrington, and it's it's fun. He comes back, tells you, you know, he just made a call to me a little bit ago. So it uh, it's fun to see him go on, and 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 you know, I remember being at that point, and it's fun to watch him succeed. Uh, they they never say on the paycheck what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? So you you give everything you got every time, and and it pays off at the end. You know it. Uh, it, it always it ain't always uh, the best run you can make but it's the best run you can make on that day and that point of time you know so if you give everything you got in all your heart it's it's gonna be good